Elvis Presley made 31 feature films. Some were passable, some were entertaining, but most were poor and only good for watching how fat and bored Elvis looked. The music for these films was initially supplied by Elvis's preferred writers, Lieber and Stoller or Pomus and Schumann, for example. But due to deals done by Elvis's manager, the odious Colonel Parker, independent songwriters were largely pushed out. But surprisingly, Elvis's films were still littered with some absolute gems of songs. Here are 12 examples of superior songs from those films. Number 12, we're going to move from Love Me Tender from 1956. Presley was in his heart of hearts a gospel singer and a superb one at that. This lively number combines the flashy gospel technique with this flexible and colourful and much imitated baritone. Eleven, Rubbernecking, Change a Habit, 1969. Recorded at the American Sound Studios in Memphis with Chips Moman and his Memphis Boys, this is a funky slice of slick soul which suffers in common with a lot of Elvis's movie songs. It's cut too damn short to get its serious groove working, and its groove is indeed serious. Number 10, we're coming in loaded from Girls, Girls, Girls in 1962. Another slab of gospely goodness from one of Presley's favourite writers, Bumps Blackwell. Must be said, Presley looks great in the scene where it's used and his voice is in tip-top fiddle. Nine, The Edge of Reality from Live a Little, Love a Little in 1968. What a strange movie. And this song from the Elvis takes some kind of drug trip scene at least leaves an interesting artifact behind. The song was a sign of the times as a mature man tries to navigate the new sexual and political marketplace. Number 8, Hard-Headed Woman from King Creole in 1958. A slamming rocker from perhaps his best film. If he had scripts this good and songs this good, his movie career would have been a very different thing indeed. Written by a Presley favourite, Claude Demetrius, Hard-Headed Woman was the first record ever awarded a gold disc. Number 7, Kissing Cousins version 1 from 1964's Kissing Cousins. Rotten film, rock and title track. Well, this is probably the first wholly worthless film Elvis ever made. 
At least you've had a top-notch rocker in number 112 hit in the USA, although it did come out the day after the Beatles played at Sullivan, so it may have got lost in the rush to sink his growly teeth into. Number six, Return to Sender from Girls, Girls, Girls in 1962. Another Bumps Blackwell tune and surely one of Presley's best known songs. Presley here is the consummate pop vocalist switching from the gospel grit of We're Coming In Loaded to smoother tones behoves a man who knows he's got a million seller in the pocket. Pure enjoyment from a mindless, fun movie. Number five, Viva Las Vegas from Viva Las Vegas 1964. A Pomus Schumann song, it's the centerpiece of one of Presley's best films, certainly the film with his most inspired co-star pairing in the effervescent and lovely Anne Margaret. Across the film she pushes him to raise his game and 15 films in, he manages to get a clue and take his game up a gear. This is one of his most instantly recognisable and widely covered songs. Number four, Clean Up Your Own Backyard from The Trouble With Girls in 1969. The sole redeeming feature of a confused and dreadful film where a fat and bewildered Elvis does little more than earn a paycheck. Clean Up Your Own Backyard is a slow cook and slice of Southern Soul which is shoehorned into the film, presumably to keep the audience awake. It's a great snarling vocal and the band rises to it. The great shame is that the films were dragging down even great music like this. Number three, Mean Woman Blues from Lovin' You, 1957. Another Claude Demetrius song, this is the closest you'll find to the Elvis who broke out in 1956. It cracks like a whip. Presley sneers, croons, growls, coos, and most of all, bullies and intimidates his way through a song that was later a big hit for Roy Orbison. Number two, Boss and Over Baby from Fun in Acapulco, 1963. Despite having nothing to do with the bossa nova, or Mexico, but a great deal to do with mindless fun, Elvis brought incredible relish to a lever and stolen number that was a good deal spicier than the material he ordinarily got. The sequence in the film where he so obviously fakes the organ playing is hilarious, but does not detract from the integrity of a great song. Number one, Jailhouse Rock from 1957. One of the touchstone songs of the rock and roll era, Elvis puts in a terrific performance where his vocal energy and pure rock and roll drive of the record matches the celebrated dance sequence in the movie. 
especially given the way the song blows away the cheesy Hollywood intro that's been set up. Beyond great entertainment, this is a high watermark in the chart of popular culture. After Elvis's film career ended, he returned briefly to the top of the charts with Suspicious Minds, but didn't grace the Pop Top 20 after 1972. He had much more success on the country charts. Colonel Parker, his scumbag manager, promptly set about swindling a depressed and drug addicted Presley out of his rightful fortune. Presley was as good as broke by 1977, which saw him reduced to touring increasingly second and third tier venues to raise money. He and his wife Priscilla had separated in 1972 and divorced in October 1973. This hastened Elvis's fall into the deep spiral of depression and overeating. Allied to the Colonel's having sold off all his future royalties, he just didn't care anymore about his recorded catalogue. Elvis Presley died in August 1977. 